You know, I can't believe the lack of respect that uh, so many people have for our American president. Uh, I know I'm going to lose subscribers uh, for my comments on uh, President Trump, but I don't care. I really honestly don't give a crap, you know. Uh, Robert De Niro and his scumbag remarks that at the Tony Awards really makes me sick. You know, to, to call our sitting president, uh, to tell him to get effed, you know, to get fucked, uh, and then having all the uh, cheering crowd of these phony, spoiled, selfish movie stars and movie starlets applaud and stand up and, you know, uh, think that Robert De Niro is some kind of a hero. Fuck Trump. Robert De Niro, you are a total asshole. I used to like uh, watching uh, Robert De Niro in uh, films. I thought, well, go, Robert De Niro's in it. It's going to be a it's going to be a fun film, you know, uh, like Casino, for instance, you know. Uh, Robert De Niro talking about Trump the way that he does is a piece of shit. I mean, did anybody talk, you know, get up at the Tony Awards or uh, Academy Awards or uh, on the news uh, networks and tell people that Obama was a piece of shit and a fuck Obama? I don't remember anything like that, do you? Can you imagine somebody getting up at the Tony Awards or some kind of award program and saying fuck Obama and having having all the movie stars stand up and clap? That would have gone on, would it, huh? You don't you don't disrespect our president. Whether you like the fact that he ran away with the with the uh, nomination and uh, election of uh, to be our president, uh. You know, you, you just don't talk down to a president like that. I didn't like Obama. I really honestly don't like Obama. I don't believe anything that came out of his mouth. And a uh, few, few people out there want to unsubscribe to me because I don't like Obama. Go ahead. And while you're at it, hit the dislike button. I don't give a crap. I really don't. You know, President Trump has done more for this country in the last 500 days than any president in history. And you people that are so upset that President Trump won the election fair and square, Hillary was trying to, her hardest, the Democrats, Democratic Party was trying their hardest not to let Trump win. And for 500 days, uh, they've done nothing but be a crybaby titty mouth, and they can't accept uh, Trump winning. They don't uh, appreciate the summit uh, with the Kim... Uh, What's his name? Kim Jong Un or whatever, whatever his name is. They don't appreciate the uh, the uh, uh, summit that, that just went on. Uh, they don't appreciate anything that Trump's done. The lowest uh, uh, unemployment rate uh, in history. Uh, blacks uh, have, uh, have 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 a huge unemployment uh, rate. Uh, <clears throat> safer. Uh, borders as far as uh, illegal aliens coming in to uh, crossing the the uh, into our country. 
Uh, it just really upsets me that Trump has done so much for this country, and there's people like Robert De Niro that unrespect him so much, and the movie stars that that don't respect President Trump. It just makes me sick. You know, you movie stars out there that cheered for Don, for uh, Robert De Niro saying those remarks about Trump, you are the scum of the earth. You really are. You're, you're, you're total scum. Anyway, I, I, I really appreciate President Trump for what he's done and what he's trying to do. I mean, he was fine before he became president. Why would he want to become president, you know? Uh... You think he needs all this crap that he's taken for 500 days uh, being president? Do you think he's? Do you think he that it's fun for him to be under so much pressure and so much bashing from the media and uh, crybaby titty mouse that don't like him winning the uh, the presidential race? You know. He would have. He could have been perfectly happy and perfectly rich. He would have been more rich by just not taking the uh, uh, the president's job. In fact, he has given his money that he's making as president away. How many people would do that, huh? I mean, what has he got to? You know, people don't understand that. He doesn't want to go down in history as a bad president. He's doing everything he possibly can to keep his campaign promises. And so far, he's on way above uh, being on target as far as you know, keeping his word about the campaign promises. Uh, people just don't get it. The tariffs with China or whatever it is. You know, this thing with Canada. Do you think it's really fair that uh, Canada, when they, uh, when we bring in uh, uh, things from Canada, that they charge us like 250% or something on uh, on rates uh, and, and vice versa, we charge them nothing? I mean, it, it, you know, why why is it so bad that that we would like to have a fair trade balance, you know, with with other countries that have been screwing us over for years? But the American people should be cheering Trump for his efforts. You know, I just it just makes me sick how so many people in this country. Uh, are so disrespectful to our president and just don't get it that he's trying his hardest to make America great, to make America uh, safe again, uh, strong again. Uh, you just, you, people just don't get it. Anyway, I, it just, it really upsets me, this uh, Robert and Nero thing. Fuck Trump. Fuck Trump. Robert De Niro, you are a total piece of shit. And you movie stars out there, you're shit as well. Every one of you are a piece of shit. I don't know how you can look in the mirror at yourself. I really don't. I don't know how you can possibly look in the mirror at yourself and think that you're doing, it, doing the right thing by putting our president down. If you don't like President Trump, keep your damn mouth shut. Why don't you accept the fact that he won with all the odds against him? He won. People laughed at Trump when he was, you know, thinking of running. They laughed at him. All these flipping news media outlets laughed at him. People laughed, you know. Uh, when he was running, they laughed. Made fun of them. Hell, he ran against, what, 15, 16 other uh, opponents? You know? Look at Hillary Clinton, all the shenanigans that she pulled. 
You know, just, it just makes me sick. You know, if you don't like President Trump, just keep it to yourself. I kept it to myself. I didn't like Obama. I didn't like President Obama, and I still don't. I don't like his wife either. So me. This country has gone to hell, and a, and a President Trump is trying his damnedest to turn America around again, not for himself, but for us, the American people. And if you don't like it, move out of the country because we don't need you. Get the hell out of here. A bunch of morons. You people, you Democrats, uh, I don't ma mind people having uh, an opposite opinion on things. Uh, I do mind, I do mind people that uh, have abortions, you know. You know, uh, those are living uh, people. You know, and you're killing him. You're killing him. You're playing around. You're getting pregnant. And then you're killing innocent babies that want to live. You know, because you had some fun times, baby. Had some fun times screwing around. Hey, I'm pregnant. Let's go get an abortion and kill the damn thing. Sickening. Absolute sick. I could go on and on about about my feelings anyway. This world is really corrupt. You know, Satan is going full bore about corrupting this great nation and this world. And uh, you people are playing right into it. You're playing right into it, and you're not thinking. All you're concerned with is your damn cell phones and money and entertainment and pleasure. You know? Do you think about God anymore? Do you think about Christ anymore, what he did for us? Huh? Do you think about the golden rule anymore? It's, it's just me, 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 me. Fuck Trump. And to get people stand up and applaud for that? You movie stars are complete assholes. Each and every one of you. There are some movie stars, believe it or not. That didn't like that, and I applaud them. I applaud them, and you movie stars that got up and cheered, and uh, sickening, absolutely sick.